Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Dear my students in grade 4C, today we will have a new lesson. It's lesson D, unit 7, lesson D. Read and label the vehicles traveling. For thousands of years, people travel in foot. Travel was slow and hard. Then around 5000 BC, pe people began to use animals for transportation. By 3000 BC, people were using wagons and ships for travel and to transport goods. In the late 17th, the first engine-powered vehicles, vehicles appeared. Since then, transportation has changed rapidly. Nowadays, trains, trucks, and giant cargo ships carry goods to all parts of the world. People around the world use planes, ships, trains, buses, and cars to travel. Travel is fast, safe, and comfortable. I want you to read that uh, text carefully. Then I want you to underline the uh, or to put the right word under the right under the uh, right picture the first one is buses as you see here the second one tracks the third trains the fourth cars the fifth it's a plane and the last one ship or cargo ship now to the question what was travel like in the past i want you you to write travel was slow and hard what is travel like now travel now is fast safe and comfortable what forms of transportation did people use in the past and still use today? I want you to pick some kinds of transportation that are used in the past and, uh, and they are still used till uh, nowadays. We still use ships and wagons. We used ships in the past and we still use them nowadays. Now to the second part of our lesson. Discuss these questions in groups. Which vehicles do you think people will continue to use in the future? I think they will continue to use trucks, trains. Which vehicles do you think people won't use in the future? Why? I think we will not use buses or cars why because we will have new times new kinds of transport what new forms of transportation do you think people will use i think we will use flying cars rockets or anything we can't imagine now now we will turn to the second part of our lesson here we see Compare, compare different forms of transportation. We have stars, least one star, more two stars, more three stars, the most four stars. I want you to choose, for example, a plane. Would you like to give it for safety, for comfort, for speed, for cost. For a plane, for example, for safety, we can give it three stars. Comfort, most, four stars. Speed, four stars. And cost, I think it's the most also four stars. And you can go on with train, bus, car, ship. It depends on your opinion. If you 
are asked what about the safety, comfort, speed, cost for plane, train, bus, car, or a ship. It depends on your opinion. Writing that compares to that part. Compared to forms of transportation using the chart. For example, we can use uh, the comparison to talk about cars, for example, and buses. Or you can put a plane and a train. And you talk about the similarities, what they are similar, and how they are different. For example, if we put cars and bus buses, we can say, both of them carry people. So you can write here, carry people. Okay. And the second part, differences, buses are big. You can write big. Similarities, both of them are fast. But differences, buses are not as fast as a car. Similarities, both of them are comfortable. But I think buses are more comfortable than cars. Here the last part of our lesson. Write three paragraphs comparing two forms of transportation. For example, write how they are different and give ex example. For example, if we want to co compare between a train and a plane, we will say the train is faster a plane is faster than a train. Also, a plane is more comfortable than a train. Also, we can say that the journey by a plane takes less time than a journey by train. And so on, you can write how they are similar and give examples. Give your opinion of which is better. I think a plane is better than a train. Now, I hope you have got our lesson. It's about a reading lesson. There are no grammar, grammatical rule in that lesson. Uh, also, the vocabulary are uh, uh, very limited. We have the words, for example, transportation. We have the words goods. We have the words engine powered vehicles uh, uh, and the different kinds of uh, transportation trains trucks planes cars cargo ships and planes thank you very much tomorrow inshallah we we will have a new lesson and it was about lesson e unit seven thank you very much my dear students till we meet again i wish you the best of luck thank you